I put a waypoint little marker where mm -hmm. our car is. Is how I'm viewing it, but who knows? We need to go up to here me. to uh, Davis Path. So we can always track start. back to it. And we're starting oh, at Davis Path. Yes. Say goodbye to the car. All right, we're starting now. What's the name of the trail again, Mike? Davis Path. Davis Path. We're taking Davis Path. Uh, we'll probably branch off of it at some point, but we're ultimately headed to Mount Washington. We might go straight through through Davis Path. We might take a couple diverted paths and go over Ridgeline on Crawford Path. We're not really sure, but we're having a good time. So should we savor the man-made bridge while we have the opportunity? Last one you're gonna see for a while. All right, sweet. Do this. Ready? What bridge is not man made? Like a naturally occurring log that fell, a tree that fell across would be a bridge to me, but not man made. How cool is that? The rocks did that. Did the rocks do that? Yeah. Did the rocks do that? Uh, I mean, you would have to. Assist. Little path. Yeah. It's a perfect little swimming hole, isn't it? It's weird. Water is a powerful thing. That's what they told me in class. I like this too. The um, dichotomy. We got teddy bear, Glock. So <laughs> this makes people know we're friendly. I stole the teddy bear from some little kid. No, you didn't. Call him up. Say, give me your teddy bear. Oh, God. No. He bought it. He bought it at a store. He paid cash for, for it. Huh? For my son. Okay. I'm going to explain the teddy bear. The uh, teddy bear. I'll explain the teddy bear. It's not only just a teddy bear, but it's filled with plastic, recyclable yeah. material. So if it does get wet, it's not going to be gross. My goal here is my son asked me to take one of his animals for protection. I forgot it at home. So I bought this bear. Okay. I will carry it with me on every hike I go on, and even if he is with me. And when he's home, he can have the bear. And he will always be with me. The first part of this, like about a mile of pri private land. Oh, okay. Davis Pass. Let's do it. Built the Davis Path in 1845. The current path runs 14.4 miles through the residential range. Dry River. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm giving up on that. All right, let's go. Are you staying positive? No, no, I'm just letting the mountain know that sometimes there's some nice rocks, sometimes there's some mean rocks. <laughs> there's a few mean ones down there. I want you guys to know how cute you guys are. <laughs> we have to keep ourselves entertained here. How much I love you. Please don't take my cold, glistening, oh, shining way. Very nice rendition. Hey, yeah, look, here's the deal. Since we're basically in these two groups, you guys are going to take one of the radios. Me and Michael have a radio. That's supposed to be the plan. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a radio right now, okay? I got it right in this pocket over here. Want to talk to us. We're just going slow and steady, okay? All right. Yeah, me... I know, but if we're going to keep stopping and waiting for you. Well, you don't have, I mean, we we'll just stop and wait for you, but if you guys think you're lost, turn the radio on, go to channel one. But will it come through even though yours isn't on? Well, we'll yeah. turn it on if it's a problem. Like, where are, they? Oh, okay. are we even on that map yet? On this one? Yeah. We are now, right? Oh, no, we're on this. Lake. Oh, okay. We started at Mount Davis, I mean Davis Path, which is, this is the road we drove down. The, the road we drove down is down about here. Okay. So Davis Path connects with that road, so we are this far you know, off the map. Right. We are about right here on the white of the map. Oh, We're I trying see. Trying to get to Mount Crawford. Mm hmm Once we get to Mount Crawford, because we've been going, you can't see it, but all this is super steep. All these lines look like this on these lines. We've been climbing up. Once we get to the top of Mount Crawford, we'll chill. 
and then we're gonna find a place to camp. Sweet. Somewhere in here, because it's flatter, <laughs> and I don't want to start going down to Resolution Shelter because I don't know how much daylight we're gonna have, and if we find a good spot here to chill, it'd be nice on the top of the mountain. Rock right? and roll. It'll still be below tree line. Yeah. Awesome. Are you telling me it's actually going to flatten out for a little bit? Yeah, it's going to be like this for a while. Good. Congratulations, you guys. Woo! You did the hardest part of this, this today. That guy totally lied to us. Uh huh. Flat. It's with the boulders. Yeah. It's flat. Yeah. Big flat boulder. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, I think we got somewhere here. Oh, my gosh. Am I killing my head? Ooh. Please tell me there's a view. <laughs> huh? I'm just talking to myself again. What were you saying? Just glad to actually be able to see something. Is this Mount Crawford? No. That we're on? No. We're almost there. I mean, really, it's right. I mean, we're on the top of the top of pretty much the mountain, but Mount Crawford is right over that way, and it's pretty much flat to get there. Nice. We're the, we're, I guess it would be. We're on the side of it, though. Okay. We're on like you know like a little side of it. Oh my Mount God! Crawford. Here's water. What's up here? Oh my God! This is why hiking is the shit. Because this puts things in perspective. Of I'll pull you up. Ordinary life. There's way more out there than that. Look at these little pine cones on top of the tree. Stir that water right there and treat it just for boiling water. Because I think we can boil it. What not water? Only, not only suck it up. But treat it with the iodine and boil it, I think we could get away with using that water. For cooking? Yeah, for cooking. Yeah, I'm alright with that. I mean, I don't know how much water we're going to see, and like that's probably what well, we, we need. Be using. We need to cook some dinner with something. What do you think? Look, if the author of my Bible can... Uh... We we're supposed to not use stagnant water, but I think that with the filter... Filter water with a dead antelope in it. I think we can do this. And boiling it and using iodine, I think would be all right. Filter, boil, and iodine. I mean, it's three ways it's getting treated. Tasty looking water. Mm -hmm. We're at 2,700 feet. 2,700 according to the gadget. Nice. And the top is 3,200, you said, right? Is that what you said? It is... 31. Mount Crawford is 31. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. 31. So, we, we obviously know we don't have that much elevation to go up. <laughs> no. It's nice. That is nice. <laughs> One liter of water in a little puddle. I'm sure if we were in desperation, we'd get another liter out of that thing, but that's pretty gross. Definitely probably put some strain onto the, uh, the sweet water system. Yep. We'll uh, open that up and look at it for a second. You can see how 
dirty that is inside now. Oh, uh, yeah. And what will happen is that'll dry and then I'll scrape it out. With a brush. <laughs> now it says to add five drops of sweet water solution per liter. Okay. It can't hurt to have more. So we're going to put six. Just for safety. And we're going to boil it also before we use it for food. And then we're going to put it in some dehydrated flavor packet, so it should cancel out some of the iodine flavor. <laughs> oh, seven. Oops. Happens. Oh, die from mosquito larvae. Sweet. So now what do you shake that for 10 seconds? Or if this is just some animal's piss puddle. <laughs> Let's shake it for about a minute or so, right? Uh, Mix for 10 seconds, yeah? And then wait five minutes before drinking water or adding any drink mix, but we're not drinking this water. So by the time we get to camp, we'll boil it, we'll be good. Nice. And then drinking water, we'll just wait till we see some streamage. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> the blueberries. Try one. For real. My mouth is burning. Mm. Are they good? Mm, blueberry. Way to drop one. I can go back and get more. Fail. Oh my god. See mm. it? Like a blueberry. Mm. See the blueberry? Eat it. Give it to him. Give me the damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> he started it. No, I still gum in my mouth. Mmm, oh. tastes like poison. guys look up, I think up there is Mount Crawford. I thought we were on Crawford. I mean, the, t the top of it. It's a good view up here when you guys get up to it. It's really neat. It looks like we actually, actually came off the trail. The trail's over there. Yeah. But you know what? But I think this is cool. Yeah. You can kind of tell where it is over there. Lovely. And this is pretty awesome. I mean, these rocks. And the view. You guys okay with keep going on this? You rock? Because we're going to intersect the trail if we keep going. Sunshine. That feels good. Dropping bags here. Okay. And me and Michael, or whoever. Is this our home for the night? Well, not right here. This is the, too close to the trail, or if not, it is the trail. But um, we're going to do a scout mission. Who's coming out here, though? Like. Hey, be responsible. In the morning. That's and if you were hiking and you saw a beautiful trail and then all of a sudden there's a tent in the middle of it and people hanging out, you'd be like, what? That's More not what anything, I came here for. A ranger early hikers could start and we'd be sleeping and be like, hi. Yeah, that's hey. awkward. I'd be like, I'm sorry. And not respectful. So unless we're setting alarms and like packing shots of shoes at the back of dawn, then I'm not going to No, but we're going to head out and see oh. what we can find. Nice. All right, Mike, let's find a home. We got here, huh? Not a place to camp. But look at this. Oh, oh man. That's why we tortured ourselves all day, right there. You hear that echo? <laughs> Coming from that over there. Hey, sir. You guys should leave the packs there and come up here. Holy monkey of Jesus. Yeah, just come on up. Nah, just come up. Oh, but don't leave my gun down there. <laughs> and, and 
don't leave Sean's gun down there. Okay. Sweet. This is what I'm thinking. I think now that we saw the summit. Because yeah. if you look at this, we have to go back down that way to get back on the path to keep going. So we should go down to where we saw it anyway and yeah. stay in the in the in the thick. Wow. That's a drop off. <laughs> I'll take you around the other side, which is an awesome view as well, and uh, I'll show you where Mike went down. Um. So we might have an area for camp site. Oh, cool. I was down here, yes. right over here. So we'd have to take our packs through that trail we just did. Yeah, we've done way worse than that. Well, Righty, that's... right? I like the holster look. <laughs> it's good. Did it come off all right? Because I, I tried to set it up so that you could get it off kind of quick and, and go yeah, without yeah. the pack. Sweet. Good. We're good. All right. Let's go find Mike. So um, don't bother coming back or come, coming down. We'll go get the packs. We're going to get the packs. We're going to start doing this with the packs a little bit. But cool. It's worth it. It's far We're going down there. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, it's good. This. Hi, baby. The spot is going to be tough to get to in packs because we got to go down this, but it's down in there. It's freaking awesome. Nice. Thank you. Hey. Going to set up our first night at campsite. Well, then. What's wrong? Honey, which way? The opening is going to be over there. Ah, uh, the planning up. phase. Set it up. Little tent area. Got it. The rain fly couldn't come out all the way because of the bush there, but it'll work. Yeah. Come see this. Okay. Okay, I'm on the way. Oh boy. What do you got? Oh, whoa. So you guys would fit right here. Holy crap! Look at this. Right here. What? Fit right here, and then we have the fire. I like I like the spot I am. I'm not sleeping on that bumpy ass. Oh God, you mean tent wise? Okay, well, we can cook and chill over here and then we go sleep over there. That is correct. This is A number one. This is a nice Great A! Area. This, this is, is the kitchen. kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Welcome if you, to the um, Step out of yeah. the kitchen and move to the right. The bedroom is on the right hand side. Oh. It's down a little bit. And further up the hill will be the ladies' room mm. where we will freshen up and get into camp gear. Oh, the they said pit. you find a fire pit that looks like it's you know specifically made, go for it. So I'm not worried about fire anymore. Yeah. All right. Can we have a fire in both places? No. No, let's just stick to the spot that they put right at the top of Mount Crawford here. Mm. Getting some firewood. Dropping some tools. This is such a cool find over here, man. What's the brand on that one? Coleman. Coleman. Walmart. Walmart. Cut some stuff. So much cooler to use the saw. Yeah, it's hard to get it off. Absolutely. There's enough. There's enough wood sitting right there and everything. So. Yeah, it's a nice little area.
I'm like, we don't have much water, but I see that you foraged for us. <laughs> I did. The women, <laughs> who are normally supposed to forage and find berries for the men in the morning, yeah. uh, were sleeping mm. while we were out doing work. Yeah. I my rest. But we got these. That's not what the women back then in the day said. We need our rest. They said, get the f*** up and go get the men food. We're not Coffee brocken. Right. And that was the last of the water. It's good. Man, a couple fresh pot. Mm-hmm. Some black coffee for real men on the mountain. All right, hold on Come a second. Over here, Reed. Get all snippy first thing in the morning, see? Ah, see? Anyway. Bring over that book over here. Well, I think our main goal today is to find a trail that's along water, right, Mike? We need water. We need water. That's why we're drinking coffee, to dehydrate ourselves. So we want to dehydrate ourselves with the last amount of water we have. Absolutely. And then what's the name of the path that goes along the Which water? We found a puddle just to get coffee. Yeah, this is puddle coffee. We saw that earlier. Um, what's the name of the path that we're going to go on that's supposed to get us some water? I don't fucking know. Cool. Well, we're going to take the Colorado. we got to go back to Davis Trail, so we got to double back. Okay. And then we're going to take Co Colorado, Coal Trail, C-O-L, Co Coal Trail, uh -huh. um, Mountain Trail, or whatever it is, Stairs Mountain Trail, Coal Stairs, Stair Mountain, there it is. And then we're going to be taking uh, some other trail. What's the other trail after Coal, Coal Stair Mountain? Stairs Colorado. Stairs Coal. Colorado Trail. And, and then, then Rocky Branch. And then cool. Rocky Branch. Rocky Branch is all along water. We have to cross the river a couple Feels times. Really It'd be fun. All right. That's going to be the plan so far. Do it! All packed up and ready to go. Day two. And that way over there. <laughs> you can see the weather station on it now. In Mount Washington. Yeah, cleared out a little bit. The clouds were over top earlier, but we're going to get to there ultimately. And we called ahead. We got a little 3G on top of Mount Crawford. So we're going to be able to get a shuttle for 17 bucks a piece back. So that way we can spend, what, a whole four days just hiking around and then we get somebody to cart our asses back to the car <laughs> yep so no backtracking we'll just keep moving well it's a little flatter but it's certainly denser well as soon as I say that it's not flat anymore so that up there was our apartment in the sky. That's where we just were staying last night, so bye bye apartment number one. On to find the next one. What did we find? Resolution shelter is blue. Oh. <laughs> we saw that sign in the beginning though. Yeah. Well it's not like we were gonna we just want some water, that's all. <laughs> so Mount what's up there? Trail. Mount Parker? Mount Parker and then Mount Resolution. Mount Parker Trail, Mount Parker, Mount Resolution. All right, cool. Must find water. Yeah. Whew. Oh boy. That's a lot of rock. Okay, let's go up it. Stream water? Yeah, man. I dug a little hole because this little spring that's coming out is going right back into the ground over there. So yep. I dug a hole, let it clear. Getting some good spring water here. That is good. That's the good news. Bad news is we were previously on Mount Parker. I think it was Mount Parker, right? No, color. Yeah, no. Mount Parker. That's where we were oh. and we weren't supposed to be. Yeah, so we uh, did some backtracking, but at least we got some water and we're working our way towards the river. At least that's what Mike tells me, but I believe him. Oh. <laughs> and I got my own watering hole down here. Nice. Whew. All right. 
So that water was cold and delicious. We only got about a liter a piece. We didn't want to burn too much time because ultimately there's going to be plenty of water where we're going. But we got to get there before it's dark and set up camp. So, took a liter a piece. Ground's nice and flat. Every time I say that, it gets worse, but ground's nice and flat. We're making some good progress here and hoping to get set up near the river. I hear water and we made it to the Rocky Branch shelter. We're going to use a tent platform tonight. We're looking for somewhere to hang up the bags. Oh, that's a sweet branch right there. I don't know if we can hang all of them there. Well, but one. cool. One down. This is a good spot. What do you see? Did we actually find the river? Couldn't even tell you what it is right now. I can't remember. <laughs> well, I posted it at the bottom. But look at this. That is water. And it's running. And we're going to get in it. I don't fall on camera, although I'll get more hits if I do. Oh. oh man, and we got this whole area to ourselves too. There's a couple platforms down there, but it's all ours. And that's exactly why you hike these pain in the ass trails. Because then you get all this to yourself. Oh, I can't wait to get in that. Sorry. That's quite all right. We're just organizing all our stuff on this giant tarp. Well, not all, of, not. not all of our stuff, some of Everything it. Everything you see here goes into a bag that we carry. Yeah. And we carry it. And we haven't even unpacked that pack, my pack. <laughs> okay. Anyway, got our bags ready to be hoisted. Hey, babe, here's my other fire going. Bags to go up. Good to go. Ah, uh, rain. Nothing like clothesline in the rain. <laughs> I'm glad we took that in last night. Yeah, everything got washed. It's a wash line. No, yeah, they got washed now. Well, we got coffee with hot chocolate in it. Yeah. Which equals mocha and it's Starbucks, so we can charge like nine bucks for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Ramen noodles for breakfast. That's from the Asian store. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen noodles for breakfast. They're gonna be regular and do oatmeal, but whatever. Yeah. Shrimp, shrimp for you? She's not Asian. Oh, uh, boo! Neither are you. Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm team Asian. You don't know? I could be. Sean's my friend. I have Asian in me. Uh, He's allowed to hang out with me. Oh, I've had Asian in me way more than <laughs> he has. Wow, not using this clip. Well. We finally got through the rain, packed up and moving, and then it stopped raining, so that's good. And right now we're on the Rocky Branch Trail, and it is rocky. Got, I think, two river crossings on this, or whatnot. And then we're going to meet up with the Isolation Trail. And the goal today is to take that, get to the base of Mount Washington, camp out. And then tomorrow we go up it. The Rocky Branch Trail abounds with rocks and branches. Nice. Well, we did make it to the shelter last night, but I forget what it's called, Mike. I know it's number two. No? no? I said, oh, Rocky Branch Shelter number two. Rocky Branch Shelter number two. And it was dark and rainy, so no footage till today. Morning! We got to make a lot of ground, so it's that's why it's 6.34 instead of, oh, I don't know, 10.34. Yeah. So, we got to go out. Uh, all, today we will actually get to the base of Mount Washington, correct, Mike? <laughs> All right, thank you. Isolation trail today? All right, good deal. 
Ah, uh, breakfast. And more importantly, coffee. So, the Resolution Trail, Mount Parker, almost had a desert arid kind of feel visually, but Isolation Trail? <laughs> uh, you almost feel like you're in a swamp, at least after all this rain. See the it's changing a little bit visually. Still plenty of mud. It's a little Christmas tree. Bit of destruction through here. We're finally breaking out of the trees. We're getting closer. And it looks awesome. There's Mount Washington way out there. Oh my god, Feeling alright? A little morale booster out here. Oh, Let's take a break and look at that. We're not going to bother with the map, so I'm not going to tell you where we are. I don't know exactly, but who cares? <laughs> Welcome to the Alpine Zone. Stay on the trail or walk on bare rocks. Cook on a stove. Activity. Don't piss off Smokey. Be a caring steward? The bear. We're not actually giants, but all the tree's <gasps> growth is stunted. Oh my god! At this point in elevation. Ow. And Selena is amazed by it! I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Thanks. Oh, I mean, it's suddenly <laughs> very cold and very windy. Wow, put on some different clothes. Well, we're gonna trade off some time and some daylight for this nice puddle of water. All right, Mike? Yes, sir. Filter it up, drop some iodine in it. Yeah. I mean, we have water, but we want to be safe. Want <laughs> the wind actually died down, but look at this storm over here. It's crazy dark line in the sky. I'm, I'm glad we're not on that mountain right now. And uh, we believe we're on the Boot Spur Mountain. Right, Mike? Yeah. That's what we're thinking. So pretty much a little further to go, but we are at the base of the goal, Mount Washington. Right? There it is. Tomorrow, I get to the top of that sucker. <sighs> if we can get some rest. The last morning begins. There's a train station down there. Lake of the Clouds and the what they call the Lake of the Clouds hut. Right down there. I start to feel a whole lot of mountains. This is just feels good. Oh, thanks, babe. Oh. Oh, that sh sock from a distance that looks like three pins. Big towers.
moving in. Yeah, at least we got some clearness while we can. Yeah, because it's all clouded up. Pose for that picture. Oh, drop the Crawford bear. Oh, look at those jerks with their cars. Yeah, definitely getting some clouds. What do you got over there, Mike? What times? Sorry. Ah, closed <laughs> for now. You too. Just give me a hot dog with relish and a train ride, please. A big ass bummer sticker that says, This man climbed Mount Washington. That's right. At a wind velocity of 231 Holy miles per hour. Mother insane. That's crazy. There you guys are, actually, at the official top. We made it! You made it. Boop, boop. <sighs> Stand in front of the tip top house, which apparently, according to Mike, burnt down twice and they rebuilt it. But really, we're looking at all this fog and how lucky we are. <laughs> Look, there's a mild break there, so you can still kind of see, but you can see this cloud. Look at it. We're it's just coming over top. Right we're here. in the cloud. Yep. We're in the cloud. <laughs> and apparently, it's like this most of the time. Where's the Care Bears? So at? we're pretty lucky that we'll we saw what we clouds. saw. Yeah. Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we got Crawford Bear. We do have Crawford. This is kind of cool. Restored hotel, tip top house. Real chairs. Pretty cool. Now Washington State Park. Observation deck. You can see we the clouds haven't hit this side yet, so we'll film it while we can. Another jerk driving his car. <laughs> Just kidding. There's a the train. So where are we going now, Mike? A mile down the road, to catch a shuttle to the area where we could actually get like food and a bed. A mile to go and some food and a bed. Huh? Still need that shot of whiskey too. <laughs> Oh my god, all these people in cars and pavement. Oh. We're done. <laughs> Look, road. <laughs> pavement? Yeah. This is easy. And we're full circle. Now give me some. Give me some hot water. <laughs> 